Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today what I have for you is episode 9 of my FIFA 23 Bradford City career mode. If you do go on to enjoy today's video, please make sure to drop a like on there for me. If you could try and hit 20 likes on today's episode, that would be massively appreciated. Subscribe if you are new as well. We are now on the road to 500 subscribers, so please make sure you are subscribed. If you haven't already, with that post notification button, it's free to do so and it does massively help out. Just like London buses, you don't get an episode for a month and then two come in two days even a little bit of an earlier upload as well four o'clock rather than six o'clock so thank you all for your support on the return of the Kramer but today we have three more matches hopefully there's no more issues like what we had in the last episode we're currently fourth in the table we'll have three more games for you in this one as we just want to have a look in a little bit more detail how we are actually getting on we are currently one point behind Northampton Town we're currently five points behind top of the league and Mansfield as well we're out of the Papa John's we're out of the FA Cup I'm pretty sure we're also out of the Carabao Cup as well we'll have the January transfer window approaching us very soon but before that we have two player chats to deal with here Harry Chapman and Richie Smallwood both want to speak to me here um can we have there we go harry chapman says hey boss um i know people have been talking about the position you're playing me in i just wanted to say i'm ready to do whatever's necessary to make us successful i have it to play as a right winger if that's part of your plan yeah it's been hard to get chapman and walker into some of the systems that we have been playing recently but thinking about going maybe to a 4-3-3 a message here from richie smallwood though which is certainly an interesting one he says hi boss i hope you don't mind me catching you like this but the lads have asked me to talk to you we're a bit worried that the club is just settling for second best this doesn't feel like a team that's going to be challenged for trophies we were hoping you'd be able to let us know what plans you have to improve the situation considering we're only one point off third i'm not really too sure if i agree with mr smallwood here but i'll sell him i've got it under control he's fairly happy with my response to that one our first match of today's episode though is against newport county or actually um they've got one point less than us at this moment in time so it's a top of the table clash let's get into team news see how we line up for the first game of today's episode here we have it then here's how we line up for the first game of today's episode we've got harry lewis in goal a back four of luke hendry jan songo matty platt and ahmed a midfield three of gilead osadibe and scott banks Pereira on the right Issa on the left and oliver through the middle it's been a formation we've played quite a lot so far this season especially in the earlier parts of the season but we're changing lots of things up for this one i do also quickly they want to give the captaincy to Jan Songo rather than Alex Gilead. We are going to be simulating the match. That is the correct thing to do because I'm sure you all were aware we made quite a lot of mistakes in the last episode, so I can only apologise about that. I'll guarantee not to make any in this one. They've got a couple of tight plays in there. We are playing against another five at the back. We just want to see some goals in today's episode. Out of all the games we played yesterday, we scored... No goals, I want to say, and we conceded one. So it was certainly not one for a neutral. Hopefully, we can pick up nine points out of nine in today's episode, and we can score 30 goals. That'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Newport coming forward here. 21 picks up the ball. Finds number 10. Good defending, though, from Matty Folds, and we'll look to build up a counter-attack here. He goes into Luke Hendry. A rare opportunity for him in this one. Dion Pereira now cuts inside. Dan Oliver finds Issa. Finds Scott Banks into Osadibe. Cuts it back. Issa with a shot. It's blocked. In the end, it actually goes out for a goal kick. Dion Pereira finds Luke Hendry. He comes inside to Alex Gilead. Into Scott Banks. Turns away from his man. Gets a shot off. Finds the back of the net. It's a rare opportunity for Scott Banks in today's game. But with 22 minutes on the clock, he has repaid my faith to start him in this one. We started him as the number 10 with Walker and Chapman and both being a little bit tired for this one and he's come up with the goods in this game beautiful finish from him on the left foot to find the top corner although Newport coming forward here straight away good defending though from Jan Songo Newport into our penalty area here. number 11 finds 24 into number 7 bit of space for him to find 10 2 with a shot over the bar and that should just about be enough to see us through into half time it's been a positive first half I've liked what I've seen so far we've not created too many chances but the big chance that we have created we've taken which is something we've not seen quite a lot over the last couple of games so big for Scott Banks to get back on the score sheet once again that is half time I mean we've, we've created just the one shot I'll happily take creating one shot if it means we're going to score one goal than rather creating 10 shots, 8 chances and not scoring at all. That's perfectly fine by me and we are now underway for the second half. Vidane Oliver on the ball here. Can he work some magic? He finds Banks again. 
big save from the keeper and I am now going to look to make some substitutions. We're going to get Ahmed off for the Jameis. We are also going to get Tyreek Wright on for Dion Pereira. Scott Banks needs to come off as well. He's shattered. Harry Chapman's going to come on for him. Arthur Dunney's also going to come on for Abo Issa. And final change of the game, Lee Angle is going to come on for Vidane Oliver. Probably about half an hour or so for them also impressed as we take a corner shot here. It's come to Gilead. Can he get a shot off? It's into, I don't even know, 22. Is that Arthur Dunn maybe? It's found its way to Tyreek Wright. Matty Platt now on the ball. Shot comes in eventually from Arthur Dunn. Well held by the keeper. Tyreek Wright on the ball. Goes back into Luke Hendry. Can we get a ball into the box? He comes back into Tyreek Wright. Hendry takes over. Finds Harry Chapman. Gilead now. Back to Harry Chapman looking for Osadibe. Eventually the pass is cut out though by Newport. And they will look to counter us here with one minute of additional time added on at the end of today's game. Big interception from Jan Songo. Full time. Bradford City won. Newport County. Now it's not been as a convincing performance as what we've seen in the last couple of games. But we've got the three points. That is all that matters. And we are finally back to winning ways. Our next game then. Who will that be against? We'll be looking to pick up another three points in that one. Look to build upon a very good result against Newport County who at the time were only one point behind us when we did go into that fixture but our next game will be against Swindon Towns so that's certainly not going to be an easy one a couple of days rest for us before we do play against Swindon Town we've got a play a chat here as well. Arthur Dunn is happy with the games that we are giving him. I expect more from him. Very good player. Obviously probably got the best potential in the club. Let's advance forward through though and get into team news against Swindon Town. Here we have it then. Here's how we line up for today's game. Away to Swindon Town. We've got Harry Lewis in goal. A back three of Timmy Odessina, Matty Platt and Romney Critchlow. Scott Banks and Tyreek Wright are our wingers. Richie Smallwood and Levi Sutton as the two holder midfielders. Jamie Walker in the number 10 with Viden Oliver and Andy Cook leading the line on at this occasion sorry going to be a very tough game Swindon obviously got some very good players but a lot of tied players out there at this moment in time we're able to rotate things keep things fresh and all that sort of stuff we're going back to the three at the back in this game though obviously we did very well with the 4-3-3 in the last one didn't really feel like we had the fit and available plays to play that system so we've gone with the 3-5-2 in this one hopefully we are able to find the overloads in the wide areas against Swindon's 4-3-3 but it is Vidane Oliver who gets us underway for today's game Andy Cook on the ball inside the penalty area gets an early shot off well held though from the Swindon Town goalkeeper but we're not done there as Walker finds Andy Cook once again on this occasion he shoots well wide ah oh, well well that's not ideal is it 11 minutes in, Smallwood's decided just to absolutely clatter someone in the middle of the pitch. That's that's far from ideal. Good one, Richie. Well done, mate. Tyreek Wright on the ball on this left-hand side. Looks to find Andy Cook, but the pass is cut out. And the Swindon goalkeeper with a poor clearance there. Sutton finds Andy Cook. Walker with a shot. Just goes wide of the target. Swindon coming forward here. 28's found himself in loads of space. Big opportunity there. For Tyree Shade and he's dragged his shot wide. Big opportunity there as Critchwell has given the ball away in a shocking area. 30 cuts inside. Big save from Harry Lewis. We're kind of all over the place now that Smallwood's been set off. But we don't have any holding midfielders on the bench. We could maybe bring Gilead on but he can't really play to defensive midfielder. So certainly not ideal. But Vidal Levers in behind here. He finds Jamie Walker who finds the back of the net. Back in the team for today's game. Back amongst the goals. Our Scottish magician coming up with a moment of magic. And 35 minutes on the clock is Swindon Town nil, Bradford City won exactly the type of goal, the type of player we are looking for at this moment in time, a goal scoring midfielder, that is exactly what you love to see and just before half time we have given ourselves a big big opportunity, something to hold on to now for the remainder of today's game, I don't really know what to do, do we go a bit more defensive, do we go for the jugular and try and get a second big save though from Harry Lewis, Swindon will have a corner right at the end of this half, their players are also absolutely knackered at this moment in time, I know we've got a couple tired tie players out there but their players are looking absolutely shattered. Are we going to make any substitutions at the break? Yes is the answer. We're going to bring on... Uh, well, we're going to take Andy Cook off and bring Jan Songo on in the midfield. And I think we're also going to bring Dion Pereira on for Scott Banks. We're going to bring Aboisa on for Tyreek Wright. And final change for now, we are going to bring on... No, we'll leave it like that for now. Let's get underway with the second half. Hopefully more of the same. Hopefully we are able to see the game out. Swindon get us underway for the second half. Songo picks up the ball here. Oh, great Cruyff turn there from Jan Songo. It's now with Jamie Walker into Levi Sutton. Back to Jamie Walker. Goes for the shot. Spilt by the keeper. Viden Oliver gets their ball back across. Eventually, Swindon are able to clear. Let's have a look at them. And then final substitutions of today's game. Walker's tired, so Gilead is going to come on as a number 10. And then final change of the game. We are going to bring on... We're going to bring Ahmed on. 
for Verde and Oliver. We're going to put Issa up front. And we're going to put Ahmed as a left winger. A couple of players now playing out of position. But it might be enough for us to see this game out with. There's about half an hour to go. Obviously, them subs won't come on until the ball next goes out of play, which in career mode is very rare to happen, to be honest with you, as Critchlow puts in a big clearance there. Ahmed picks up the ball here and he finds Alex Gilead slotted through into Abouisa. But on this occasion, he is offside. Just over 10 minutes left in today's game. We're defending fairly well, considering we've got 10 men. I don't know how long Smallwood is going to be banned for because it doesn't really work how it works in real life on career mode. I'm pretty sure a red card on career mode is only a one-game ban, so he's not going to feature in the rest of today's episode. If it is a three-game ban, obviously he's going to miss two-thirds of the next episode as well. Swindon building inside our penalty area here. I really don't like it every time they get the ball. I mean, our team couldn't really be any more defensive if we tried in the 90th minute. Swindon equalise. The boys have given it absolutely everything in this one. But a stupid red card inside the first 10 minutes. The boys are absolutely knackered. I cannot fault them at all. The only man to blame for this one is the man who's been sent off full-time. Swindon Town won. Bradford City won. We have thrown away two points there. That's really, really disappointing. That could be vital at the end of the season. If we don't get promoted... Because of two points, we all know who to blame. Let's get into the final game then of today's episode. I'm not too sure as of right now who we will be playing against. It looks like AFC Wimbledon at home, so it's certainly not going to be an easy game to end on. Here we have it then. Here's how we line up for our final match of today's episode at home to AFC Wimbledon. We've gone with a 3-4-1-2 formation. Again, we've got Harry Lewis in goal. A back three of Timmy Odessina, Jan Songo and Romney Critchlow. Levi Sutton starts as the holding midfielder with Gilead and Osadibe slightly ahead of him. Dion Pereira and Arthur done on the wings with Lee Angle and Verden Oliver leading the line on this occasion. Going to be another very tough game. There are no easy games in this league. AFC Wimbledon plays again, looking very tight. It's another time we are playing against this five at the back system. If what we're trying right now isn't working by half time, we haven't scored by half time, I might look to switch to the 4-3-3 because that worked really well in the first game of today's episode. But like what I said, this was a very tough game and we are now underway. It is Young Coombs who gets us underway. Gilead picks up the ball here and sprays the ball out wide into Dion Pereira. Can he keep it in? He does. He cuts in on that left foot. Finds Verdane Oliver. Is this his chance? It's bouncing around. It's hammered home. Finally, Lee Angle is on the score sheet. I gave him the opportunity to start in today's game because Andy Cook has not scored in what feels like a million years. And I mean, Oliver had a chance. Angle had a chance. Eventually, it is Lee Angle who stabs home 4 1 0 as AFC Wimbledon have equalised literally moments later. And it is Young Coombs with the goal. 22 minutes on the clock, two goals in about four or five minutes there. It's Bradford City 1, AFC Wimbledon 1. We're going to need another Lee Angle goal here. Arthur Dunn picks up the ball here in a bit of space on the edge of the area. Gilead goes into Dion Pereira. Viden Oliver now finds Levi Sutton. Arthur Dunn, can he work some magic on this left side into the penalty area? It looks for Osadibe, but eventually the pass is cut out. Oh, seven's in on goal here and seven scores. It's Young Coombs again. This man is causing us absolute nightmares. I don't quite know who got absolutely spanned there. But that's really poor defending. It's a great finish. I don't know if that's gone under Harry Lewis or over him. Either way, Wimbledon take the lead just before half time. Certainly not ideal. We had a great start to the game, but we're certainly not having a great end to the half at all. Wimbledon are in our penalty area once again. 37 with a ball. Looking for number 11. It's in, still in our penalty area. Chance again. Big save from Harry Lewis. Genuinely, we'd probably be in the relegation zone without Harry Lewis. They've hit the crossbar there. That's half time. What a dreadful half of football defensively. That was absolutely shocking. I think it it was Odyssey who got span actually, so he's going to come off, off at half time for Matty Platt. I'm also not impressed with what I've seen from Dion Pereira. So we get Harry Chapman on the right hand side. Sure. Two changes made at the break. Let's hope for better in the second half. We are now underway. It's Lee Angle who kicks off for the second half. AFC Wimbledon have got a massive overload on their left side. Shot comes in. Another massive save, though, from Harry Lewis. I'm not happy with what I've seen at all so far in today's game. We're going to go on to constant pressure. We're also going to have him playing a bit wider on and playing much higher up the pitch as well. In terms of some substitutions, I'm thinking Jamie Walker is going to come on for Levi Sutton and Walker is going to play now as a number 10. No, it's not going to let me do that. Let me quickly change formation. So we've gone to a 4 triple 2 Andy Cook and Jamie Walker are now coming onto the pitch. We're also for the final. Final change of the game. I'm going to bring Ahmed on here for Osadibe. Put Songo as the holding midfielder and put Critchlow back into centre half as well. Hopefully, we're able to score another couple of goals because we're not really creating too many chances as of right now. To be honest with you, it's been more AFC Wimbledon at the start of this second half as Sutton just cleared one off the line there. Songo looking to build us with an counter attack. Harry Chapman now finds Andy Cook in a bit of space. Can he find the shot? 
Ball across, it's bouncing around. Can Walker finish it straight at the keeper? And eventually, he's it, he's in. I thought that had gone over the bar. It's Jamie Walker with some fantastic, persistent play. I want to say that's two goals in two games now for Jamie Walker. That is exactly why he's been involved recently in the team. And I think we've got to start building the team around Jamie Walker. Pretty criminal for me to be leaving him out of the match day squads like what I have been doing recently. And Jamie Walker gets us back level once again in today's game. It's Bradford City 2, AFC Wimbledon 2. Jamie Walker coming down our right hand side. Finds Jan Songo. He finds Liangle. Who finds the back of the net? I don't know what's come over Liangle in today's game. But he's gone from not scoring pretty much all season to scoring two goals in one game maybe constant pressure is the way forward it might kill the players over the long term but in the short term we are winning football matches or we are going to win a football match by doing it but we've conceded a lot of late goals so far in this series so hopefully we are able to see it out as Ahmed is on the ball here I think the ball's going to have to play there, but it doesn't matter. That is full time. Angle brace and a Walker solo effort means we come away with another three points. We've picked up seven points out of a possible nine in today's episode. Certainly much better than the last one. If you have enjoyed watching today's episode, though, please make sure to drop a like on there for me. If you could try and hit 20 likes, as I said at the start of today's video, that would be absolutely class. Subscribe if you are new as well. We are now on the road to 500 subscribers, so please make sure you are subscribed. If you haven't already, with that post notification bell, and Harry Lewis is actually currently the clean sheet leader, which is great to see. But make sure you are subscribed. Like I said, it's free to do so, and it does massively, massively help support the channel. Thank you for watching, though. Have a great rest of your day, and I shall see you all tomorrow at 6 o'clock for another video. Peace.